Hi, it's a bit of a shorter video this week because the weather has just been rain and high wind and I haven't been able to actually film the things that I had planned for filming for Zero Tailpipe at the moment. But actually the bad weather has reminded me that there is something I wanted to talk about. There's been a problem with the Ionic Electric, my biggest one I think actually, and it was the same problem I had with my previous electric car, the Nissan Leaf. So I'll warn you, uh, no sort of clickbait here, it's, it's a silly thing that really doesn't have much to do with it being an EV, but let's talk about it in this video. Now you may think that with the Ionic Electric being an EV, an electric car, fully battery electric vehicle, that my biggest problem with it would be something to do with the kind of battery electric nature of it. Um, with the charging, with, you know, range anxiety, I have a separate video about that, um, or with, you know, something to do with the cost of it up front, or I've talked about that in other videos. Um, no, my biggest problem actually is nothing to do with this being specifically or uniquely a battery electric vehicle. It's actually just the wipers, um, the windscreen wipers. In the Ionic Electric and also in the Nissan Leaf electric car that we had before this, my biggest gripes with the car, both cars actually with the operation of the wipers. Um, in the Nissan Leaf it had this annoying thing that I don't have a photograph of, but you know, in the middle of the windscreen um, where the wipers used to meet, it used to leave a smudge right in my eye line. Now, I thought that might have been the original wiper blades. I had them replaced and so on. I kept the windscreen clean, um, but it always had this smudge right in my eye line. So I think it was a design issue, design flaw to do with the sort of path of the wipers. Luckily, the Ionic doesn't have that issue. When it does wipe the screen, it's clean. And, you know, I try and keep the windscreen clean of kind of oily material. And I, I sort of wipe the blades and so on regularly. And I keep them replaced whenever they need to be replaced. But the main issue for me is the automatic wipers, uh, the actual sort of programming of the software of the automatic wipers. Um, the Ionic Electric does have a rain sensor, but I find that it has all these kind of edge cases where it just doesn't uh, clear the windscreen properly. Um, but in the auto mode, you can't kind of just, it's not like an old fashioned intermittent mode where you can just sort of, there is a dial for adjusting the sensitivity, it seems, of the automatic wipers, although I don't find that sensitivity very intuitive. And also when you fiddle with the wipers, it blocks the digital speed setting that I like when I have the car in normal mode. Of course, if you have the car in sport mode, it shows you the speed in the center of the dial, but I like it in normal for reasons I've gone into in an earlier video about sport mode. Um, and yeah, so it, it blocks the speed as well. So as you're kind of fiddling with it to try and keep the windscreen clear, so you, I'm switching between, you know, um, automatic, which I find in certain cases doesn't wipe the screen enough, uh, fully on constant on a kind of slower speed. And every time you kind of do that change, or if you adjust the sensitivity of the automatic wipers, it blocks out the speed display, which is another nuisance. So what exactly is the problem? So I don't know what's causing the problem exactly in terms of how the, the rain sensor is interpreting the kind of amount of rain. I don't know if this is a specific issue to the UK and the kind of rain we get without going too Douglas Adams on it. I find that there are a number of edge cases, and I'm going to try and sort of show them here, where the wipers just don't do what they should do. And it's not that I care about having automatic wipers at all, really. I would be quite happy with the old fashioned intermittent setting where you put it on intermittent and then adjust the speed manually to you know, keep pace with the weather conditions. But I presume that automatic wipers are there as well as a convenience feature for a bit of safety because, you know, you can focus on driving the road, which hopefully you can see through the windscreen uh, if it's clear of rain. And then you don't have to be fiddling with, you know, the settings on the wipers. Now, that's the kind of ideal. And I don't know how many cars are out there that do it perfectly, but the Ionic Electric doesn't do it very well. and Our old Nissan Leaf didn't do it very well either. Now, the first problem is when you're stopped or when you're coming to a stop. So it seems that whatever setting sensitivity you have the automatic wipers in, it kind of just slows down the frequency of the wiping. So it doesn't wipe as often and it means you can be kind of approaching traffic and the screen isn't clear. So, you know, if something kind of unexpected happens or if you need to brake more suddenly, you haven't got a clear view out. Um, it seems to be, to me, under about 20 miles an hour. So maybe there's something in the software that sort of changes the sensitivity or changes the kind of wiping speed at that point. Um, I did hear some things a long time ago about the Nissan Leaf that apparently they'd engineered some quieter wipers because the lack of the engine noise meant that you could hear the wipers more. So maybe there's something there about when you're idling and it's kind of more obvious the noise of the wipers against the road and tyre noise, you know, the kind of wind and tyre noise. Um, that They want them to sort of wipe less so it's not as obvious. No idea, just speculating. And then there's other instances that pretty much at any speed, um, no matter how I seem to have the sensitivity set, um, it just doesn't wipe enough. So the windscreen gets kind of, you know, covered in um, in rain droplets and I can't, I feel like I can't safely see. So I'm distracted and then I either put it up into the kind of um, constant, you know, ram it all the way down and just do one wipe and then put it back into automatic. And all the while that's happening, it's kind of blocking off my speed reading. I was trying to think of ways of, of filming this and obviously I can't kind of, you know, 
predict exactly what kind of rain we're going to have and I can't generate particular kinds of rain. Um, I've seen some YouTubers spraying the screen, but you know, it's not quite the same thing as, as realistic driving conditions. In some conditions, it works absolutely fine. And it just, you know, what, at the sensitivity of three, I've got it set to, it seems to just kind of wipe and keep the screen perfectly clear. And I can just take my mind off fiddling with that and concentrate on, you know, safely driving down the road. At other times, it's, you know, it's pretty much all over the place and I'm constantly making adjustments. So, you know, it, it is a small thing, but I find it, you know, weird how that's my kind of biggest gripe with this car really rather than any other things in, in practical just sort of day-to-day -day driving um, and it was the same with the Nissan Leaf we had before it. So thanks for watching this short video I know it's not a kind of major issue but I thought it was worth kind of raising for people interested in the Ionic um, if it's something that really bothers you you might want to think about that. Uh, yeah thanks for watching please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and bye for now.